Today, we're going to talk about my favorite enhancement to the Nikon 100-400, a third-party tripod foot. So in one of my recent videos, I talked about the Nikon 100-400 and how I'd upgraded to that lens and some of the pros and some of the cons, what I liked about it, everything like that. And one of the things I mentioned was I'd put a third-party tripod foot on it, a Kirk LP70. And that got a lot of questions. For small of a part of the video as that was, I had lots of comments, questions on what I was using, how it worked, and everything like that. So I thought I'd do a video on that specific aspect of a third-party tripod foot and why I think it's a great fit for the Nikon 100-400. So how did I get here? When I got the Nikon 100-400, I just sort of assumed the foot that came with it right here would be Arca Swiss compatible. In my past, I've used this particular uh, Tamron 70-200, came with a tripod collar and a foot integrated into it, and it was Arca Swiss compatible. So I just sort of was coming out of the gate assuming the feet just always fit onto an Arca Swiss tripod head. And I've talked about it before, but Arca Swiss is the attachment standard I like to use. It's on all my tripods. All my video gear has the clamps for it. All my stills photography gear has the clamps for it. Just makes me super efficient in the field when I can move around and pretty much put any of my recording camera devices, audio devices on one of my tripods without having to worry about the clamps or anything like that. So Arca Swiss is sort of important to me. So like I said, Tamron 70 to 200 came with a collar and a foot that was completely compatible. No problems, didn't have to buy anything extra. On the 70 to 200, I did eventually upgrade to a Sigma 100 to 400, and I used that. Now, one of the cons I've talked about with the Sigma 100 to 400 is it didn't come with a tripod collar or foot on it to begin with. So you had to go use a third party collar with an integrated foot for that lens. And of course, me just thinking everything was Arca Swiss compatible in most cases was I had this third party tripod collar for the Sigma. It has an Arca Swiss plate on it, so it would just work with all my tripods. So I was annoyed at needing to buy a third party collar, but it was super easy. And again, I just sort of was assuming everything was Arca Swiss. Well then enter the Nikon 100-400. And I get it, and here's its little foot on here. And the first thing I realize is I can't attach it to my tripod. There are no grooves for it or anything like that. So I'm like, well, shoot. So I have to start doing a little bit of research and figure out what I can do. So during that research, of course, you know, you can put a tripod plate on here, but that seemed bulky to me. It does have two screws to help keep it from twisting and rotating. But this is a pretty heavy setup between the lens, by the time you put the camera body on here. But I frequently find myself tightening some of the tripod plates on some of my other cameras when they're not carrying near as much load. And just coupled with, it adds a little bit of bulk to the lens. This is already a heavy lens. It already protrudes a fair amount. And I'm going to stick another layer on here. So it just seemed like another fiddly bit, something I have to make sure I had tools for in the field. And just, it, it wasn't an ideal option for me. So, you know, I continued to search the internet. And then I discovered that there are third-party tripod feet for various lenses that will take them. Now, luckily, the Nikon 100-400, it's got a quick-release attachment system here. We're going to take a look at that. I'll show you how to install the new foot. But luckily, it's got that. So it, you can replace the feet. And that's where the Kirk LP70 came in, the third-party tripod foot I went with for my Nikon 100-400. So let's talk about that. So as I researched these tripod feet, there were a couple different brands. I believe Really Right Stuff had one, and then of course this Kirk option that I went with. And we're going to focus on the Kirk today, and that's not to say some of the other options aren't great, but I've been super happy with this, and this is the one we're going to talk about. But what this is, this is a Kirk LP70 model number, and as you can see, it's just a foot. It's got the little quick attachment mechanism up here, and it is made to fit on the Nikon 70-200 2.8, Nikon 100-400, the Nikon 400mm Prime, and the Nikon 600mm Prime. Before you rush out to buy one, just check those specs. I'm pretty sure I listed all those lens that this is compatible with correctly. So I was obviously looking for the 100 to 400, and it's the one I went with. Now, let's talk a little bit about the foot itself. This is, it's made of aluminum, so it's lightweight, shouldn't have any kind of rust or any kind of things like that happening if it gets scratched. You know, like when we do a landscape photography, a lot of times the lens will get set down, camera will get set down. So being aluminum is nice and it helps keep the weight down as well. Now this foot is a little bigger than the one that came with the Nikon 100 to 400. It is 4.2 inches long and it is 2.2 inches wide, including the button. So the main foot isn't two inches wide, but including the little tightening knob on the side, it's 2.2 inches wide and it weighs about three and a half ounces. So it's fairly lightweight, but it is definitely bigger than the other 
tripod foot that came with the Nikon and it's also not tapered as much. The Nikon one is tapered a bit here and this one is is not tapered as much. So it does use the OEM quick release system that Nikon provides on the Nikon 100 to 400. So it's got the little tightening dial here and then it'll just slide in and place. It's pretty easy to swap. I'll demonstrate that here in just a minute on how to install this foot. Super easy and not hard to do. So one of the downsides of this is that this Kirk LP70 retails for about $110 US which is a little bit on the pricey side in my opinion. With that said, I've been using it since I've had the Nikon 100 to 400. It was the very first purchase I made when I realized the OEM foot wasn't gonna work for me. And this has been great. It doesn't even really show any signs of scratches. And it's been with me to Arizona multiple times, Death Valley, everything like that. So, you know, it's been a very robust foot as far as that goes. Just a little bit on the pricey side in my opinion, especially after you've just invested in a fairly expensive lens for the Nikon system. So those are the features of the foot. Let's take a look at how to install it. Okay, so installing this third-party foot is pretty easy. Nikon does have a quick release system on their lens. So it's just got this tensioning screw here on the right, and then it just sort of slides off. It's got a little safety in here just in case this ever come loose, your lens is gonna fall off the tripod. So if take a look here. All we do is we turn this screw. That loosens this up. There's a little lever to press down here. Press that, OEM lens slides right off. Get your Kirk foot right here. It slides on. Clicks into place, you'll hear it click. That's the safety mechanism clicking in. It's this little lever down here and it clicks in. Then you just tighten this up with this thumb screw on the side, get that nice and tight. And now you have it installed on the lens. And that's all there is to it. Now you have an Arca Swiss compatible tripod foot on your Nikon 100 to 400. So I've been using this tripod foot now for about three or four months. Like I said, once I bought the Nikon 100 to 400, I opened it up, realized the OEM tripod foot was not going to work for me. And I immediately ordered this Kirk LP70 after just a little bit of research. So this one has been to Arizona, multiple trips regionally and out to Death Valley. And I have zero complaints about it. Works great. I've been using it with my Interall N44. I've done a video on that ball head. It's an inexpensive ball head. Arca Swiss compatible. I've been using it with that. It I get a nice, secure, solid attachment every time with it. Nice and solid, works great with that. I've used it occasionally with my Sarui ball head, the K30X, I believe, and it, it's worked fine with that as well. So it's been working fine with my Arca Swiss compatible ball heads and no problems with that. Like I said, majority of the time though, it's being used on my Interall N44 and it's just perfect for that. Additionally, when you grab the camera, you can grab it by the foot. And because this foot is, like I said, it's 4.2 inches long, it sort of fits my hands real nice like that. Nice and sturdy, really get a nice, good grasp on it, which is handy because I do find myself grabbing it by the foot quite frequently when I have it attached to the camera body, just grab it by the foot and go. So I do sort of like that over the OEM as well. And like I said, you just can't beat the efficiency for me and my workflow of always using the same attachment across all of my tripods. And this keeps it nice. There's no additional plates to put on, nothing to twist off, nothing, nothing to come loose or anything like that, that I might get if I tried to stick a tripod plate on the OEM one. So like I said, if you're shooting a Nikon 100 to 400, a 70 to 200, the 400 or 600 millimeter lenses, and you're looking for a solution, this Kirk LP70 is great. I would definitely consider it for an upgrade to one of those lenses. So like I said, just a short little video on that. Like I said, I wouldn't have normally dedicated a whole video to a tripod foot, but like I said, I had so many questions about it just from my 100 to 400 video where really I talked about this just as a tiny little part of that video. I thought it'd be worth talking a little more about it in depth so people could hear about what I was using and how it worked and just a quick review of the install. So hopefully you found it helpful. And if you did, be sure to hit that like button. And if you see future landscape photography content from me, including tips, tricks, behind the scenes, mini gear reviews, be sure to hit that subscribe button and thank you for watching.